It's now time for the Rebirth Sports Full Game Recap. We go all the way back January 13th of the year 2024 when the Nashville Predators were on the second night of a back-to-back back home to face off against the New York Islanders at Bridgestone Arena. Head coach Andrew Burnett deployed his lines as defensive pairings in the following way. Forsberg, O'Reilly, and Nyquist, Trennan, Sissonsen, Gorionov, Smith, Novak, Evangelista, Parston, McCarron, Tomasino. Your defensive pairings are Yossi and Fabro, McDonough and Shen, Luzon, Carrier, Saros gets the start in net. Yeah, I know who that guy is. 12 seconds into the first period, it's Ily Sorokin coming with the first save of the game on Ryan McDonough at 113 of the first period. Sorokin comes up with a save on Nyquist, and then, well, he's going to take a break for a while. 316 of the first period, it's UC Saros coming up with his first save of the game. That comes on Wallstrom. Outstanding tracking for the first shot against of the game coming from behind the net, below the goal line, out to the low slot area. Again, Saros, a really strong save. Two start the game. 349 of the first period. UC Saros comes to save on Engball. 554 of the first period. Now, and UC Saros is coming up the save on Wallstrom for the second time in this first period. 727 of the first, and Saros coming up the save on Barzal. And the teams are trading chances back and forth. That's where we find ourselves at the eight minute mark when Saros is coming with another save on Barzal. The Islanders have a very strong shift buzzing around the Nashville Predator zone, gaining the best possession of either of the two teams so far in this game. At the 858 mark of the first, it's Saros again. Again, coming up with another big save on Pellick. And then at the 12-minute mark, when the teams traded chances back and forth between the faceoff circles with no shots connecting on net, we get to the 12-minute mark, and that's where Saros comes with a save on Romanoff. At 12.51 of the first, Sorokin comes with a save on Shen. That's the first shot on goal for the Nashville Purs in 11-plus minutes. Shen, his long shot at 12.51 of the first period. 15.34 of the first period, Zilli Sorokin coming with a save on Luke Evangelista at 16.02. Saros, a save on Barzal at 17.12. UC Saros, a save on Ajo. And at the 1832 mark of the first period, UC Saros coming up with a save on Horvat's partial breakaway. This is probably the other best save of the first period for UC Saros of the National Purse. The 1909 mark of the first period, it's Lee off to the box. Two minutes for hooking on Tommy Novak, our first special teams scenario of the game. Good zone time for the Preds over the final 51 seconds of the period, but no shots on goal. We hit the intermission with the Islanders out shooting the Predators 9-7, to seven, but we will have a carryover of a minute and nine seconds of power play time for the Preds into the second period, and we'll pick it up there. Puck's not getting through for the Nashville Predators. Zero shots on goal over the continuation of the power play in the second period, so the Predators aren't able to generate any offense. 237 of the second period. It's Luzon off the box. Two minutes for hooking, so the Preds start the period on a power play. Now they'll go on their first penalty kill right away and it's Saros with the save on Barzal and then Saros coming up with another save on Riley at the 7-11 mark of the second period it is Sorokin coming up with a save on the captain Roman Yossi this is the first shot on goal of the period for the Nashville Predators so you have to go back quite a while to the 1534 mark I believe of the first period to when the Preds had their previous shot so the Preds went a substantial amount of time in the first period without a shot then a length of time from the end of the first through the second all the way up to the 7-11 mark of the second period before they get their first shot on net of this game already showing some weariness in those legs on the second night of back-to-back 744 of the second period Saros coming up with the save on Dobson at 824 of the second period so Sorokin coming up with the save on Dante Fabro at 858 Sorokin comes up with a save on the captain Roman Yossi it's the first time the president generated any offense in a while the 956 mark it's UC Saros coming up with a save on Nelson at the 1134 mark we've crossed over the halfway point and this game still no score. Saros comes with the save on Bo Horvat at 12-14 of the second period. It's Luzon off to the box again. This time, two minutes for interference earlier in the period. Picked up a hooking penalty. This one, tough, tight call, but it was probably the right call. Luzon finished off his hit as the puck was already out of that area. The puck had vacated the area, and he continued playing the body. That is technically interference. Just a tough call for Jeremy Luzon, who's playing a Pretty good physical game. UC Saros comes up with a save on Barzal while the National Purse on the penalty kill. UC Saros then comes up with a save on Dobson. The Preds PK is able to stand strong. And not give up any goals. 13-21 now of the second period. It's UC Saros coming with a save on Nelson at the 14-44 mark of the second period. It's UC Saros coming with a save on Martin. And that was a heavy shot right there. But at 15-10, Martin is off the box. It's two minutes for tripping on the captain, Roman Yossi, who took the puck and was looking to lead the rush. A lot of conversation lately about Roman Yossi not taking off on the rush. Andrew Burnett said it's okay to go. And he did just that. He earns power play for the Nashville Predators team. But unfortunately, 
Clearly, his Nashville Predators team are overthinking it out there and looking for the perfect shot, looking for the perfect play. And honestly, it's kind of sloppy, choppy, and they're not doing a very good job with the possession times they have. So they end up generating zero shots on goal. Again, just looking for the absolute perfect play. 1736 of the second period. Two C Sars coming out with the save on Angball at the 1807 mark of the second period. Two C Sars coming out with the save on Ajo at 1835 of the second period. Sorokin comes out with the save on Gorionov. This was by far the best chance of the period for the National Purse. It was not only a good hard shot off of the rush, but low to the glove side. Seemed to catch Sorokin just a little bit off guard. Gorionov showing that he has a hell of a wrist shot right there. Again, the Purse's best scoring chance comes at 1835 of the second period. 1903 of the second period. It's Sorokin coming up with a save on Nyquist. We hit the end of the second period. Still no score in this game. The New York Islanders though now out shooting the National Predators 19 to 13. So the Islanders pick up 10 shots on goal in the second period. The Preds only pick up 6 shots on goal. We go to the clean sheet the third period. We're going to settle this one in the final 20 or possibly beyond. 58 seconds into the third period. Silly Sorokin coming up with a save on the captain, Roman Yossi, at 2.23 of the third period. It's Palmieri shooting the puck over the crossbar. Islanders had an incredible opportunity off of the rush right here, and he just ripped it way high off of the glass. Four minutes into the final frame, and it's Sorokin coming with a save on McCarron's redirect with a mask. A slick redirect and an even slicker save by Sorokin, putting the face right into it and getting the job done. At 4.31 of the third period, Zilli Sorokin coming to the save on Jeremy Luzon at 5.15 of the third period. Sorokin coming to the save on Gorionov. 6.15, Sorokin comes up with the save on the captain, Roman Yossi. 8.30, another save on Philip Tomasino. At 8.57, Sorokin comes to the save on Gorionov. And the game has absolutely opened up, and it is the Predators that are getting all of the shots on net. The Islanders are getting the puck, and they're getting odd man rushes, but they're failing to hit the net. They're missing on their opportunities, and the game has absolutely opened up, and the Preds, have generated seven shots on goal already here in this third period. They were only able to get seven shots on goal in total in the first period, six in the second. Now they have seven at this moment in the third period. We're halfway through the third period at the 10.08 mark of the third period. Susi Sars coming with a save on Angval. It's the first shot on goal of the period for the New York Islanders. So for the first time in this game, the Islanders went a significant portion of time without generating a shot on net. At the 11-12 mark of the third period, Sorokin coming up with a save on Luke Evangelista at the 12th minute mark of the third period. We have our scoring breakthrough 52 minutes into the game. It's Pasha with his fifth goal of the season, giving the New York Islanders a 1-0 lead at Bridgestone Arena. It was a redirect in the slot from a shot out high. The Preds did collapsed after a turnover, and the Islanders had their way. A good look at it, a good redirect, a very tough shot for UC Saros to see. The Islanders take the lead 1-0 at Bridgestone Arena. At 13-13 of the third period, we see Palmieri going off to the box two minutes for tripping. Luke Evangelista doing a good job chipping, chasing, drawing the power play for his team on the power play. We see Sorokin having to make a save on Forsberg. The Preds giving up on perfection and this time looking to just unload with heavy shots and pressure. Sorokin comes up with a save on Nyquist and then it is Luke Evangelista with his eighth goal of the season. He had the first opportunity, tried to stick handle one too many times, lost the puck, gets it back, this time takes the wrist shot from the face off dot. It goes off of D and into the net. The National Purse have tied this game at one apiece. And then we go to the 1630 mark of the third period. That's where we find UC Saros coming with a save on Horvat. 1643 Saros comes with a save on bars. All the aisles are buzzing. Don't look very content to settle for taking this one overtime and getting a point. And that's when at 1952 we find Alex Carey firing the heavy shot towards the net. It hits the D-stick. The D-stick explodes. The puck flutters up into the air and lands in the net over Sorokin for Carey's third goal of the season. And the National Purs lead 2-1 to one at 19.52 of the third period. Just an incredibly lucky scenario right here. But Carey did the hard work to lead up to it. And 19.58 of the third period, Parson hits the empty net goal with half a second left. His eighth of the season. Your finals 3-1 to one in this game. The Nashville Purs on the second out of back-to-backs find just enough energy in the third period to get a power play goal to tie it, win it late, and get the empty net goal to give themselves just a little bit of comfort for the final face-off of the game. 
game. 28-25 are your shots on goal. 3-1 is your final. The Nashville Predators take four points over the back-to-back weekend and an incredible job by the Preds to hang in there and survive, just like I did throughout this entire recap. That was a Reverse Sports full game recap. You gave us 10 minutes. We gave you the entire game. Back with the box score analysis and so much more right here on the Renegades of Puck podcast.